Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix Minecraft launcher and not downloading or installing. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what I suggest to do here is to go to settings. Then you need to go to Windows update and install the latest drivers of your operating system and then restart your computer and look if the problem persists or not. Next step, what you need to do here, you need to, you can close this. Then if you're playing on a um, Xbox Game Pass, you just need to write Xbox, right click on it, go to app settings. Then you need to scroll down a bit here until uh, when it loads up, when it loads up, uh, press terminate, then uh, repair. And then after that, you need to press reset right here and wait until it's done. And uh, next up, what you need to do here, you need to look for Microsoft Store, Microsoft Store and do the same, right click on it go to app settings then you need to press terminate repair and then you need to press reset and after that look if the problem persists you can restart your computer and uh, look at it right another thing that you need to do here is to go to system here on settings then you need to go to storage then you need to look for temporary files and then select all the folders Accept downloads if you have some downloads and you don't want to be deleted. And then you just need to press remove files and press continue here. Next step, what you can do here, you need to go to time and language. Then you need to go to date and time. Make sure your right time is, sele is uh, selected here. Then uh, make sure set time automatically is on. And then you just need to press sync now. Right. And when uh, it's done. You need to go to time and language uh, then you look for language and region and make sure that the right language is selected here and if it's not working then go to microsoft store then press on, on your account here and then sign out right press sign out and sign uh, back again and look if the problem persists or not if the problem persists we, we can proceed with other steps so open up your browser then you just need to write fast.com and test your internet speed if you have a good internet speed, you're good to go. And if you don't, maybe limit some uh, devices or restart your router. And if your internet speed is good, then we can proceed with other steps. Uh, another step is CMD. Just right on search CMD, right click on it, run as admin. And then here you need to write a IP config forward uh, space forward slash flash DNS. Uh, I just clicked IP config. Uh, sp space uh, forward slash flash DNS like like this. Another another one is Nash Winsock reset. And after that, we start your computer. Uh, next thing, you need to go to settings. Then you need to go to network and internet. Make sure uh, you're not using VPN because sometimes it can block the installing and downloading process. Then go to advanced network settings. Then network reset and reset your network. Another step, what you need to do here, go back on advanced network settings, find your internet connection. In my case, this one, then you need to select more adapter options. Then uh, double click on internet protocol version four, make sure internet protocol version six is disabled. Then select the use uh, following DNS server addresses. And on preferred DNS server, you need to write 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And on alternate DNS server, you need to write 8.8.4.4. Apply the changes, restart your computer, and your problem should be fixed. So yeah, that's basically it. If I helped you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care.